Gabriel Yu's daily routine includes going through his boss's messages. More and more sound like this. You want to bring in sick people into the country? Well, it's you who's sick, Quan. You suck. Quan is MP Jenny Quan, a visible minority woman and the NDP's immigration critic. The online hate aimed at Quan and her staff, including racism, misogyny, and threats, can be relentless and spill into the real world with angry calls and visits to their office. Some of our staff uh, felt intimidated and worried about their own, sa- our own safety. Quan felt she had to make staff feel safe. We have a panic button, for example, uh, in our office. And so if at any point in time where uh, people are feeling threatened or uh, unsafe, uh, you can actually press the panic button uh, and then uh, help would arrive. The problem reaches beyond party lines. Last winter, someone sent a video to a staffer at the prime minister's office telling her how to kill herself. It takes a toll, honestly it does. To be Death threats convinced Elizabeth May to hire a private security consultant to assess her office. The RCMP should reach out proactively to the offices of every member of parliament, whether they're male or female, and just say, have you considered the security perimeter of your office? May's chief of staff says employees lack training to deal with the onslaught. It's very difficult uh, for people. It takes a lot of energy in order to be able to handle uh, the assaults and the insults. It's an issue in the ridings and a committee of MPs is looking for solutions. More needs to be done and that's some of the things we're looking at both in terms of is there additional security measures that we can take, uh, how do we deal with remote offices where maybe only one person is working in that office. There is a new system to report on the job harassment but it doesn't address how to deal with hate when it walks through the office door. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.